Hi friends, welcome to my first studio vlog. My name is Camille and I am an artist and a hobbyist and I'm very glad to have you with me here today. I have wanted to make a video like this for a while now where it's just documenting my progress with some of my personal projects and if you're listening to this right now, then I'm very happy that you get to be here to see my plans come to life. For my first studio vlog, I wanted to begin at the very start and just kind of document setting up my new table and making the space a little more comfortable for being productive. I did have a table before this, but it was very cramped and I wasn't comfortable with how it was set up, especially since I had to spend more time by this table from the changes brought about by the quarantine and online classes. Before starting this project, I chose specifically to look around for second-hand items to save up on the cost but still have good quality that will last me years. I first got this little drawer chest that I plan to put most of my art materials in from a Japan surplus store and then I found a good deal on a wooden table that already had a glass top to protect the wood. I got both of these items from listings on carousel and I definitely recommend looking there or even in Facebook marketplace if in case you're also looking for some second-hand items. I built up the aesthetic of my setup from these two items that I got and I think because both these items were made of wood and kind of dark. I was inspired to take more of a dark academia vibe than a minimalistic look. I also have some decorative items that I've collected over the years that fit into the aesthetic, like the BBC Sherlock book and busts, I think I got back in 2014 and I've never really had a place to fit them in before now but I'm glad that I get to incorporate them into my, my current setup. I also had some fairy lights just lying around my room unused and I had this bouquet of dried flowers that my mom gave me a few months ago and I think both of these also really add to the ambience of the room. Here I was just um, organizing some of my 
notebooks that I use the most, um, particularly my school notebook where I just jot down all my notes in, um, my yearly planner, and then a bunch of my favorite sketchbooks as well as some projects that I have on the way. I also have my watercolor setup ready which is composed of two water basins and a square plate where I usually mix my colors. Other than decorate the table, I decided to organize some other things while I was at it. I have this cart where I place some of my art materials and they've been growing increasingly messy over time. So, I took the opportunity to sort out which things get to stay and which things get thrown out. Here I'm just testing some of my pens to see if they work or not and those that do not work um, end up getting thrown out. Okay. I've also found some duplicates in my um, pencil case and some work better than others so the ones with duplicates that had less ink and that wasn't performing as well i decided to throw them out instead of hold onto them because i feel like um they would just get worse over time so i just disposed of those and some other things that i didn't really have space for or other stationary items that i had no plans of using or those that I have not used for a really long time. I also decided which prints I wanted to be displayed on my table since I have this wire rack that I could put some pictures on to add to the ambience of the aesthetic. And uh, later you'll see how that turned out and I think it looks really well. There's a lot more space that I can work with but I think for now what I have looks pretty good. This was also something that I assembled a couple of months ago. I wanted to try some 3D puzzles and I got this cute little carousel that is actually able to move around. For those who are curious, I sometimes wear gloves because my hands have a tendency to cramp up at times, so it helps keep everything compressed and it lessens the pains i had especially while i was working on cleaning out these um, tiny items that i have accumulated over time i think i still have to work out some of my filming angles and that's something i'm excited to work on for the succeeding videos but overall I think I'm really happy with the end result of the studio setup. However, I am far from done from completing the setup. As I plan to add more things to the table as time goes by. I think I wanted to show my process for this video setup as well. 
because from what I've been seeing on YouTube, it's become more normal for people to have huge halls of things they use for desk setups or even studio setups that they can show the progress from start to finish. And while I have nothing really against that, I don't think that it's a realistic scenario for some people and I thought that it would be nice to show a setup built by items that have been accumulated over time as well as showcase some pre-loved items. If you've reached this far into the video, I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching this little project of I hope that you enjoyed this little studio vlog and I hope that you're also inspired to look around your room to see which items can be used to repurpose or add to the aesthetic of your own room in case you were thinking of doing the same and I hope that you have a lovely day stay safe love lots enjoy the rest of the video and don't forget to like and subscribe see you until the next one